He speaks his mind, he offends many, and liberals hate him. Controversial conservative Milo Yiannopoulos of Breitbart will be at UNM Friday. He attracts crowds wherever he speaks. He also draws protest. News 13's Marissa Lucetto has the details. Milo Yiannopoulos is not shy about speaking his mind. He's even been banned from Twitter for some of his racist remarks, but the group that brought him here says it's all about free speech. The consequences of trying to shut down free speech are always worse than the consequences of just allowing it. The controversial right-wing speaker and writer Milo Yiannopoulos is known to turn heads when it comes to using his freedom of speech. I think that the concern that people have is that he is a hate that that he will bring hate speech to UNM. Yiannopoulos, who's openly gay, even uses a derogatory term in the title of his speaking tour, and UNM is next on the road trip. We wanted to bring Milo over here to allow him to have a platform to speak on these more conservative viewpoints that students might not have an opportunity to hear all the time in their classes. Marina Herrera is president of UNM's College Republicans Group. She said the group has received a lot of backlash after word got out in September that Yiannopoulos would be in town. Two weeks prior to the event, we were slapped with a $3,400 speaking fee, of which we were not previously aware of. The university says, like any other student-organized event, the group has to pay a fee to help put on the event. UNM is beefing up security because it's expecting nearly 600 people to attend, and that doesn't include the protesters. Protest groups have already posted to Facebook, urging a strong turnout that night. But UNM assistant professor Lee Montgomery has an idea for a more peaceful protest than what we've seen in other cities by holding a poetry slam. I think uh, between the poetics and the visual um, aesthetics, we're trying to bring a sense of beauty to a notion of protest. The Yiannopoulos event will take place Friday night inside the sub. It's the first 600 people who get here first that will get in. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. Late this evening, the university acting president decided to suspend the $3,400 fee until it reviews its policy that deals with freedom of speech events.